to fight. Three, two, one. Fight. This is DJ Weed here hopping in on the action just a tad bit late. We're about a minute and 45 seconds into this game. What happened? I don't know. I turned my head and all of a sudden the game is readied up. But that's okay. Let's tell you what's been happening here. If you're not tuned into GTV, CK Fatality currently with a two frag lead over Socrates. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is Socrates. So stop correcting me. I got the man on the mic today and said, I want to hear how you pronounce it. And he's like, yo, man, it's Socrates. So there you have it. I think it's a mute issue now. Two minutes, 20 seconds in this game. Like I was saying, CK Fatality, he's up 2-0 to zero the map. Q3 tourney 2, randomly drawn, actually by yours truly, so if either of these guys did not like the map pick, well, they can uh, come to me. It looks like Socrates grabs his first frag of the day. Fatality, after getting a spawn, grabs the LG. He's in, oh my gosh, he picked it up. He was able to kill Socrates, but unfortunately, he fell into the void and lost that frag. So now we've only got a one-point game here as we get ready to hit the three-minute mark. On Q3, turning two, Fatality getting some rocket fire from Socrates, and as Socrates retreats back into Teleporter, Fatality takes him out with some nice LG aim, and there he picks it up again. Oh, nice! As Fatality goes through the Teleporter to try to follow up for a kill, Socrates is waiting outside and nails Fatality right in the face with a rocket. A whole lot of lightning gun action going on. All right, this is how you can sync GTV, even though we are mid-match. I'm going to say the four-minute mark, and when I say four minutes, pause, and when GTV hits four minutes, unpause, and you should be synced, all right? We're coming up in just about 20 seconds to the four-minute mark, so when you hear that, pause it, and when you see it on GTV, unpause it, you'll be good to go. Back to the action, fatality, now four to two, a very close-knit game here so far. Fatality making a whole lot of advances here on Socrates on both sides of the map. Four minute mark. Fatality is now on the yellow armor side of the map. And he is just waiting for it to spawn patiently. There it is. He grabs it. Socrates making a very quiet, sneaky advance on the yellow armor room on the rocket launcher side and fatality seems to be dominating that it is a good room on this map to dominate you've got all of those shards and uh, oh fatality scooping up the yellow armor on the other side of the map near the lightning gun and he is taking control i switch over to socrates and he's at 100 health 50 armor it looks like he's he's slowly but surely trying to regain control of the rocket launcher side of the room 
Now Socrates waiting outside the teleporter near the bridge. There the yellow armor spawns, and Fatality was not there to pick it up. Socrates, who has been playing exceptionally well this tournament, you know, he's one of those players that you, you just don't know how much he practices because you don't see him online this much, but he just comes to tournaments and tears it up, and there is some excellent rocket shots, but Fatality is taken out. He's only got 34 health and 14 armor. There's the yellow armor. He snags it up, and there is a 25 health. He's going to grab that, and he's uh, recovered pretty well from that last battle, but here's Socrates on the other side of the map, the RL side of the map, and he has got his eyes on that teleporter, knowing that Fatality is going to pop his head out any moment. He decides to rush it himself. He goes in and Fatality is ready with a lightning gun. He frags Socrates fairly easy and increases his lead from 5-2 to two to 6-2. to two. We're 5 minutes and 45 seconds into this match. Fatality now keeping up the trend of staying on the rocket launcher side of the map. He likes that because there's lots of additional armor shards there. It's really the only way that you can accomplish 200 health or 200 armor on this map. Now there are some shards on the LG side, but not as many as you're going to get if you're camping that rocket launcher over there. Fatality though grabbing both of the yellow armors now 100 health and almost 200 armor he is posed to make a nice attack and there he comes in and as Socrates sees him he takes off running he knows that he's not powerful enough to take him on and uh, that was a smart move by him is to avoid the conflict here comes Fatality from around the corner he hits a rocket to the wall and uh, Socrates adding a couple of fake jumps there to make Fatality think that he had gone deeper into the thing oh my gosh Fatality Socrates getting some nice LG beads on him. Got Fatality down to 54 health, 60 armor, and he ran off to recover from that. Socrates decides he's going to go ahead and take control of the rocket launcher side of the map. That's what he needs to do in order to, in order to win this match. Now, Fatality, they switched roles there. Fatality waiting outside the teleporter on the LG side. Nails Socrates in the back of the head with a rocket. Another attack here on the rocket launcher side, and Socrates comes out strong, but Fatality wins that battle. A lot of lightning gun action here as we take a look at the statistics. It looks like Fatality is shooting a 28.7 LG in, uh, on land. That is, pretty, that is pretty damn good. He's picked up 20 YAs and compared to uh, Socrates, 13 YAs. That's certainly been the uh, game turner in this match. Obviously, if you can control both armors, which Fatality has been doing fairly well, then you will be able to dominate the other player regardless of what side of the map they're on. We have officially surpassed the halfway mark of this match and there is the 8 minute point, 99 health, 88 armor and there is Socrates again using that fake jump technique to throw Fatality off with sounds and you've got to do it especially in a map like this you don't want to you don't want to have your opponent uh, catch you as you're going across, say, the rocket launcher area or the bridge in the LG. It could result at ultimately in a death or possibly a void if you're, if you're uh, too close to that on the bridge. Eight minutes, 30 seconds left. Fatality coming in, getting a rocket right in the face from Socrates. And he retreats back. Socrates going through the teleporter to the bridge side of the RL. And as he goes back through, he realizes that Fatality has just taken his position in the rocket launcher Room, and now he is leaving after an LG fight with only six health. He better watch out as he goes through here, picks up the yellow armor. He's only got 31 health. He is surely lucky that Fatality didn't pop his little head out of that teleporter because he would have been hurt bad. Now, Socrates, he's going to need some rockets. There he picks it up, and that was a good move. You do not want to get caught in a fight with Fatality and only have two rockets. I guarantee you, you will hear that gun click, and then you will say, oh, shite, and it will be over. Nine minutes, 12. 12 seconds, Fatality getting another frag, Socrates spawning right next to Fatality, and Fatality picking that one up quite easily. He grabs up a YA on the LG side of the map, and you know, Fatality, he is from the old school Quake 3 players, and this was definitely a map played a lot, and why? Because it was in Q3 test. Now, the pro version of this map, which I think all duelers pretty much agree kind of stinks. 
They are not playing this, so that means that Fatality has to reach into his bag of tricks and take out all of that old school skill that he has after facing defeat on this map by Wombat and coming back and ultimately becoming quote unquote the Quake 3 champion this is definitely I would say one of his maps it's now 9 to 2 10 minutes have passed in this game that means we've got 5 remaining and if you're on GTV gtv.speakeasy.net remember you've got GTV underscore next view I understand that might only work on Speakeasy because of the versions on Killer Zinc. But give that a shot. It's a pretty cool uh, utility. Fatality picking up yet another frag. A nice rocket right to the face. The first one bounced so crazy, and the second one was delivered quite perfectly. And it was the death rocket for Socrates. We are at the 10 minute 40 second mark and an 8 frag lead. It's certainly not impossible, but it is going to be tough for Mr. Socrates to come back and get back on top of this game. Now he has taken control once again of the rocket launcher side. Both shards are on both sides. He decides to pass those up and make an advance on Fatality. He goes through and runs into the teleporter side of the map. It looks like Fatality is now running Socrates is going to have to cut him off at the pass. I'm going to look and see where Fatality is. He's sneaking into the RL side of the map and just waiting. Oh, and there comes Socrates out of nowhere. But uh, Fatality just toying with him now, saying, hey, I can run around this map all day long. And that's exactly what he's doing. Now, as a Quake 3 player, that can be very frustrating. You really have to anticipate your opponent's next move. And there is a lightning gun fight. And I heard Fatality scream for pain. And there, Socrates picks it up after he heard the exact same thing, ran through the teleporter and just ransacked him. 10 to 3, he's only got seven more frags to make up, but he's only got three minutes and ten seconds to do so. With not a whole lot of help, it is going to be tough right now. He picks up a YA. He avoids that help there, but there's a 50 waiting for him as he comes through the teleporter. Socrates now with the advantage. Fatality, however, he's just decided to camp out in one of the corner rooms. Now he is on the move as soon as Socrates realized where he was. But Fatality is sort of playing the, hey, you go through that portal, I'll go through this portal. Over and over again. Now, Fatality getting the hurt there. He's taken out. He's got no armor left. He, he, he's got only 73 health. He picks up two shards through the teleporter again. And there is two minutes and 30 seconds left. It is going to be tough for Socrates. Socrates to come back unless he can get some really nice spawn positioning if he can kill Fatality. There he sees Fatality on the run again and he's got an RL. He doesn't have a whole lot of armor and there is Socrates coming out of nowhere. Uh, LG to the hit and there he takes him down. 10 to 5. He's got almost 2 minutes and 10 seconds left to try to come back and lead but right now he's controlling the map and he's controlling it well so it's certainly possible but we're going to have to see Fatality now and the rocket launcher area. He picked that up after his only weapon was a shotgun. Socrates goes through the teleporter and there is Fatality again, but this time he's got an RL to make some defensive rocket shots. Although Socrates still tries to advance on him and a double kill, 11 to 6. Fatality kills him with the rocket. Socrates kills him with the lightning gun. And, and Socrates picking up yet another frag. It's 11 to 7, folks. Only a four frag game. And there's a minute and 45 seconds here. Fatality spawns. He grabs the LG. Socrates picking up another one. 11 to 8. Only three frags and one minute and 30 seconds left to do it. Switching over to Fatality hit looks like he's weaponless. He goes down, he picks up an RL and both of these guys are just rampaging through the map, especially Socrates who has made it a two point game. He's got one minute and 15 seconds. This is a comeback if I have ever seen one. He's controlling the armors. He's just trying to find Fatality. Fatality not able to pick up a whole lot of armor in this case and there it is the one minute point has been breached fatality has to avoid Socrates there he is he sees him coming around the corner he's gonna try to cut him off at the teleporter a nice rocket shot he's trying to follow up there it is one point game 45 seconds left fatality spawns he gets him it's tied it's tied it's tied 40 seconds left 11 to 11 fatality taking on Socrates Socrates coming back from an eight frag deficit there is 30 seconds left and right now Socrates is poised to win the final battle there it is he kills him 12 to 1 in the last 30 seconds Socrates takes the lead
Fatality trying to find a weapon. He's scrambling. He's scrambling. He's got 30 health left. There he picks up a little bit of armor. He's got 10 seconds. Can he do it? Now Socrates changing roles, hiding. Five, four. There comes Fatality out of nowhere, and he just decides to run. It's over. Socrates wins. He comes back from an eight-point deficit to win over CK Fatality. Team Sportscast Network.